Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Install SDK. So then I have to close all this stuff then. I have to go no, no, that is okay. Leave it. Go to that SDK. CD directory name. See, Saraja is giving. Right? Go to that uh, directory name. Right? Go to that. Uh... Yes. No, first get the path of that uh, directory, right? Uh... Go to the folder where where you have that zip file. In the explorer. Uh... No, go to the folder. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Here we have the okay. Now go to SDK. Now double click on SDK. No, no, no. I did. Double, yeah, here it is. No, SDK, SDK, not that one. Close this. I don't want this. I want the path. Double click on SDK. I did. <laughs> I did. Jayshree, go to the folder. No. Mr. Prasad, it is showing on the top SDK path. C colon users. Yeah, here. Yes. It is showing here, yes. See, I, I know that I want that path because I need to change the directory in my command prompt. Okay. Jayashree, go to the folder. Yeah. Double, Double click on, click on SDK it. Folder. SDK it's folder. not SDK manager, SDK folder. Okay, sorry. Copy okay. the path. Now here, right, go to platform tool. Platform tool, here, yeah, okay. Yeah. Double click yeah. on it. Yeah. Yeah. Now you copy this path. Whatever that path is available at the top, you copy that entire path. You click somewhere here. Now, right side, right side, right side. Right side, right side click. No, no, little right, 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 click. Click there. Now, I copy that path. Now, go to that command prompt and change that CD path. Change that. Here, right? CD yeah. card. Here I give CD the path. path. Yeah, where is that uh, command prompt? Open that command prompt. Just now we open, right? Here, command black. prompt. The black one. Yeah. CD. Right click and copy. CD. CD. Yeah. CD. CD. Uh -huh. Use space and uh, right click paste. Okay. Here we need to yeah, yeah. Paste use the space between CD and the. Okay. See parallelly right. Uh, please do someone right. If we here right, if I struck up right immediately, I can jump. Oh, here yeah, this do is it. not giving the space. No, no, to... no. Move that cursor. Move that cursor. Like uh, move the cursor in and right. Uh, you can use the arrows up and down. Yeah. Arrows Just you can use. Use the left arrow and go back up to the C column. Use the left arrow on your keyboard. Yes. And then go up to the C column. Okay. And between D and C column, give the space. C between C D and. C. Yes. Enter. Enter. So that way. Yeah, I cannot take the control actually. That's the problem. I don't know, like it's uh, control is disabled for me. No, Jaya, go now. Write CD again. Now write CD again, and then you can give the space. Yeah, you can do it again. Yes. And give the space. 
I did. No, first write C D. And there, it's tab. C D space and that top space. Control V, you can do it. Control V. Oh my goodness, it's not coming. Why? Right click and. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah, any other one did? Okay, no problem. No issue. Not okay. Any, any other it. one did? Got it. <laughs> okay. Fine. Here, uh, oh. Okay, we need to change the path actually. Yeah, Go back to that folder. Go back to that folder. No, she can do it. And... Yeah, that's okay. Now go to that uh, SDK. Go to that SDK. Go back. Go back one path. Yeah. Go to SDK. Go to do, 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 do. one second. Huh? Go to tools. Go to tools. Two, like uh, last but one. Yeah. Yeah. Go open it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I need to take this part. You take this part. Which part? This part. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You take this part and uh, change the directory. Control C. Change the directory. Okay. So here you mean? CD. Uh, shall I delete everything? Or yeah, delete. Just uh, enter CLS. It will clear. Uh, enter CLS. Just uh, okay. No, 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 no. CLS means clear. Just enter CLS. Just uh, uh, type CLS. That's it. Type CLS. It will clear everything. Enter. Now CLS. say that CD, CD, give space. space and whatever you copied, you do there. Okay, yeah. done? Yeah. Done, enter. Enter, right? Click on enter. Yes. Yes. Fine. You copy this there. You copy, uh, now what you can do? The you second one you want me to copy? Just now I ping in the chart window. Um, you copy this. A copy from the chat box window? Yeah, chat box window. MKSD copy. <coughs> do it fast, do it fast, please. Oh my God. Why are we doing? Uh, why are we changing the path? Yeah, this is right. This is nothing where but. Uh, where do I put it now? Copy. Here now here. just copy this and paste here. See here, right? The intention is what is happening when you are trying to create the emulator. It is saying that memory is not sufficient. Please create some memory. Paste it here or down. Yes, yes. Here. Yes, yes. There only. That means right. You are creating some memory for it. Like kind of uh, uh, what you call buying a memory card. Right, yeah, we will buy a memory card. Paste, right? I don't want to yes, paste right. Paste. Yes, right click, right click and paste it. Yes. Yeah, yes. enter. Hope it will go correct. Enter. I did. Yeah, it's created. Fine, good. Now wait, you, you'll get some message. So this is the reason. Okay, it's created. Now you can go to that path. Here, go back, go back to your folder. There it will create MKSD card. Now here, go to that folder. Here search with MK. MKSD card is created. Now you can see here. MKSD card. I can see MKSD card in the same location. I can see, right? No. Yeah. no. Why you are going going back? Go back. There itself available, right? Search with M. You can see here, right? I can see here. M, search with M. Yeah, I'm searching. No, no. <laughs> no, in the <laughs> go back, go back. No, come down. Don't search. Come back. Come down. No, no, no. In the folder only, come down. Yes, yeah, right. Number five yeah. from down. Number five from down. One, two, yeah. three, four, five. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That is what SD card. Now you can go to emulator. Give your uh, path. Now, now go to emulator. Okay. No, no. I'm saying that here it's created. Now uh -huh. our work is done with this. Now go to emulator. It is asking, right? Uh, some uh, memory issue and all. Now, in the SD card, select a file. Here, M here, 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 here. SD card, select a file, radio option. Select a file, browse it. Now, browse it. <coughs> browse that, uh, where is that available? Check that part. Prasad, how did you get that, that MKSD card, one MDSD card, like where did you get that name from? 
Jay, I think that download folder and then search from there, or you can write it here. Or download folder. Here. No, click on the download folder. On the left side. I know. I have to go all the way down. See, uh, that's what right. Anyone other also is doing right. Uh, let me know right, please. So that right, uh, we can save some time also. Now, what you can do? Yeah. This is not there. Yeah, no problem, right? Uh, I mean, what you can do is you can watch this video again. And if you have any problem, right? What I will do is right again. Uh, as part of our, uh, advanced also, first thing I will do this thing. Find that uh, in the download folder, not in this. See any any others want to do? Uh, Prasad. Okay. Yeah. Somebody wants to do take it from okay. here. Okay. Yeah, fine. Uh, Lizzie. So you want yeah. me to show? Yeah, yeah. Who is this? Uh, this is Lavanya, but I already did this process. Uh, I did okay, fine. Yeah. Process. Right. Then it's fine. Right. Prasad, why are we creating the memory card? Uh, if there is uh, no message, then... Right. See, if you don't have memory, where you will store your apps? Tell me simple logic. That is? Okay. But, right. if, so this memory sorry. card is only for the apps? Like, within the Android, it works on... Emulator. Uh, emulator. Only for emulator. Only for emulator. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, I did. Lavana, I did. You are presenter now. Okay? Professor, now, what you... will happen is... Yeah. I don't know. Here also, I cannot take the control. Okay, I'm not sure. Now, once this uh, app is available, I need to give the app right for you. This is how it looks, uh, Prasad. This is yeah. Like yes, yes. Once it is created, and uh, Lavana, can you ping your mail ID? I will give that uh, uh, APK file. Okay. Fast, do it fast, please. Yeah. Wish you would have taken the control and do this. No, actually, I don't have. To, I mean, I don't know, like, uh, why I cannot take the control on that. Rico was always taking and helping with the class. Yeah, when I sent it. Now, what you can do, right? If you want to install your app, right? What you can do is you can say that ADB. Now, go to your uh, same thing, go to command prompt, change the directory to change the directory to ADB. Then you can say that ADB install, and here you can give the application for APK for. Uh, Prasad, this is uh, iOS, right? Mine is Android. Yeah, this is I'm talking about Android only. See, see, check that uh, uh, attachment. Sorry. This check is Android? Attachment. Okay, what can no. I do now? No, check the attachment in the mail. Go down. Okay. Now save that in the desktop or wherever you want. Now, what what you can do is now, right? Once your APK is available, you can uh, install that APK to your uh, emulator. How to do that? First, change the direct. No, let it be. Just get the path for that. That's it. Now, go to your uh, first. Go to your uh, this thing. No, no. Okay. Now go to your uh, command prompt. Change the directory. Change the directory to tools. Okay. Not tool, right? Mm. That's okay. Leave it. Leave it. Okay. Why you are okay. worrying on worrying on that? Go to tools. I mean, what do you call command prompt? Go to command. Okay, fine. No problem. Okay, okay, okay. First, go to command prompt. Now get the directory of your ADB. Go back to your folder. Um, is it a manager? Yeah, go back to no, no, no. Go to platform tools. Don't worry. Yeah. Again, I can explain again. Platform tools. ADB is available here. Now you copy this path. I will explain again. Okay. 
no, copy the path copy Option. the path of the copy the path of the folder top yes copy that thing okay okay now go back there and cd and change the path control v control v will not work right click paste it now enter now now what you can do is now you can say like this adb adb i'm thinking here install and give the path of the apk apk path you use this adb install and check that path of that file so you already install your uh, this thing right what is called uh, memory memory install right i don't mean i don't you said you already installed yeah i yeah uh, install this uh, emulator that's it i don't know about the memory installed or not okay try it give it a try now adb install and then uh, Go to that. Take uh, get the path of your. Uh... So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu. dot com and on our website h two k emphasis. dot com. On our website h two k emphasis. dot com. You will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left-hand side. Just give us more information about yourself, and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment. by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information if you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770 777 1269 this is a united states number if you're calling from the uk call us at 020 337 you can also email us at training@h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys@gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.